our staff and team are, are thrilled to be participating in the first ever Ivy League uh, championship tournament, and uh, we're, we're even more elated that we have the opportunity to even host the first ever tournament in the Ivy League. And I know going into last weekend's game against Princeton, uh, we were kind of fighting for our lives a little bit and uh, hoping that we would have a chance to even make it into the tournament with a win. Uh, then after the way things turned out between the uh, two other Ivy League games, we were thrilled not only to have the chance to be in the tournament, but also, also to be hosting it. Uh, I think it's going to be a great venue for the weekend. Uh, you got four great teams hopefully going out and competing and play with, with three great games, two on Friday and one on Sunday. Uh, hopefully the exposure for both the Ivy League and the, and the four teams playing in this will, will heighten our, our presence and show everybody in the country uh, what the Ivy League is all about and how competitive the Ivy League is and compared to the rest of the lacrosse going on in the country and hopefully people will take advantage of the three great games that are going to be out here, two on Friday and one on Sunday. So, you know, coming out of the Princeton game, uh, we knew that the, the top uh, four teams in the Ivy League all were going to be competitive games and, and uh, just to be considered one of those four teams, we're thrilled. And uh, then when the seedings and the pairings came out, knowing that we were going to have a chance to play Brown, uh, we know we're going to have our hands full. Brown came to, to Cornell two weeks ago and uh, beat us 13-10 to 10 here on Chokoff Field and had a great game plan and, and executed that game plan very well. Uh, I'm hopeful that coming out of our Princeton game this past week and our guys will remain confident. Uh, I know we've worked very hard this week in preparation for Brown, uh, but we're going to have to make some plays. Uh, Brown has proven to be a great team and certainly a great team against Cornell over the past years, and their coaching staff does a great job of preparing them to be so. Uh, throughout the course of the regular season and certainly against Cornell. So uh, the opportunity to play at home, uh, I hope is going to be an advantage for our guys coming out of our own locker room and, and feeling the comforts of, of the surroundings of Shokoff Field and the Crescent. Uh, but we're going to have to take advantage of, of our execution and game plan changes that we made from one week uh, to the next and, and hopefully we'll take advantage of the first game and first opportunity in the Ivy League tournament against the Brown Bears. With the Ivy League awards coming out this week, uh, our coaching staff was thrilled uh, with the nominations and the selections of our team. I think every one of those guys that were on that team uh, deserved and, and, and received the awards that were uh, relevant to the seasons that they've had and uh, are, are very fitting uh, to their accomplishments thus far this year. And we're hoping that those accomplishments are going to continue through the course of the Ivy League tournament and, and hopefully into the NCAA playoffs. Uh, the, the two that, that stand out the most are, are player of the year for Rob Pinnell, knowing that he was a unanimous decision and selection to be uh, player of the Ivy League. Uh, speaks volumes about his play, knowing that our league has uh, such tremendous talent at every position, <clears throat> not to mention that he's just a sophomore, and having that selection as just a sophomore bodes well for, for Cornell in the future, and we're proud to have him. Not just here at Cornell now, but, but thrilled to have him for the next couple of years with, with the future in the offensive end. We believe that uh, the responsibility uh, that Rob can shoulder is going to bode well for the future of Cornell lacrosse. The other one is Pierce Durkak. Uh, and Pierce Durkak has been a captain of our team this, this past year and has probably meant as much or more to this team as anyone that we have on our uh, on our roster. And he's just done a great job of just in terms of his on off field leadership. Uh, to know that he was recognized by our fellow Ivy League coaches as a first-teamer in the defensive end speaks volumes of what he's been able to accomplish. I know that position, the long stick position, the short stick defensive position, tend to get overlooked. <clears throat> and knowing that uh, Pierce was selected to the first team and Austin Boykin also selected to a team uh, speaks volumes about what they've been able to do and, and how well they've been able to do with uh, what they've done on the field. So we're thrilled for all of those guys. and. Uh, we think the honor is, is obviously well-deserved, and, and hopefully that play will continue, not just with those guys, but with the rest of our team.